In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. In the Mass of today, we pray for the following. Elizabeth, Alexandra, and baby Christina Mary. We also pray for our individual and family intentions and for all those who are in special need of God's help today. And for us to be worthy to celebrate this Mass, may we call to mind our thoughts and ask God for his mercies and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary of Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May he forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we urge you, brothers, to keep away from any of the brothers who refuses to work or to live according to the tradition we passed on to you. You know how you are supposed to imitate us. Now we were not idle when we were with you nor did we ever have our meals at anyone's table without paying for them. No, we worked night and day, slaving and straining, so as not to be a burden on any of you. This was not because we had no right to be, but in order to make ourselves an example for you to follow. We gave you a rule when we were with you, not to learn not to let anyone have any food if he refuses to do any work. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace all the time and in every way. The Lord be with you all. From me, Paul, these greetings in my own handwriting, which is the mark of genuineness in every letter. This is my own writing. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response to the psalmist. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord and walk in his ways. By the labor of your hands you shall eat. You will be happy and prosper. O oh, blessed are those who fear the Lord. Indeed, thus shall be blessed the man who fears the Lord. May the Lord bless you from Zion all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. 
let's stand up for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. When anyone obeys what Christ has said, God's love comes to perfection in him. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said, Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who are like whitewashed tombs that look handsome on the outside, but inside are full of dead men's bones and every kind of corruption. In the same way, you appear to people from the outside like good, honest men, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Alas for you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you who build the sculptures of the prophets and decorate the tombs of holy men, saying, would never have joined in shedding the blood of the prophets had we lived in our father's days. So your own evidence tells against you. You are the sons of those who murdered the prophets. Very well then, finish off the work that your fathers began. The Gospel of the Lord. On the readings of today, reflecting in both the first and the second reading, one could see the need to live by good example. As St. Paul said in the first reading, it's not as if he wouldn't have lived his life the way it would place him, but then he didn't want to be a burden to the people, and he had to live by good example. And I think the same is related to the gospel of today, that the scribes and the Pharisees, even though they were living the life they felt is the best they could live, but at the same time, he was of bad example to the people. And Jesus wasn't happy because he understood that the lives they were living were contrary to the dictates and the contents of the gospel of Christ. Even though the scribes and the Pharisees may not have seen anything wrong in the way they were living their lives. But then Jesus would say that that kind of life is a hypocritical life. So then, sometimes it is understandable that at a time in one's life, you might be living a particular kind of life. For you, there is nothing so wrong about it. But then, he's giving bad example to people. He's offending people. Maybe someone at the place of work or someone in the family, especially those lifestyle that is not in line with what our life should be as Christians and children of God. No matter how little or no matter how big it is, it is not easy to, to, live, you know, to, to live a life of good example I mean, by your thoughts, by your words, and by your actions. But as St. Paul would say, his grace is sufficient for us. So we ask God for that grace today to live by good example, to live by the, that way our Lord Jesus had expected us to, to live. And by that, we will be encouraging people who we meet every day to know more about 
us and about our Lord Jesus Christ. May he bless his words in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we've received the bread we offer you, fruit of the harvest and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual food. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, and my sacrifice on yours will be acceptable to the Lord God, the Almighty Father. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption, though through the one sacrifice of our once for all, bestow graciously on us, we pray the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures may serve you and all the redeemed praise you and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore, we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, heaven and earth, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them that they do fall, so that they may be comforts, the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Vincent our Archbishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from our distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you took the rest of the sins. Lamb of God, you took the rest of the world and the sins. Lamb of God, you took the rest of the world and the sins. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord and May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. the body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ.
most sacraments, most holy, so sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, the praise and all thanksgiving. Give me sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, O praise and all thanksgiving. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may place you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you for your presence at this Mass, and please remember as we are coming for the communion. The steward will direct us on the direction to take. And remember to take your bag as you're coming for anything you can with. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in peace. The Mass is ended.